Well, you send your kids to summer camp with an expectation they'll be safe and adults will be the eyes and ears. Not the case, says a Chicago mother who tells us the Park District failed to call police when her son was the target of a death threat on Snapchat. Only on 2, CBS 2's Charlie DeMar spoke to that terrified mother. And Charlie, you got some answers, but they didn't come easy. I'm Brad and Erica, good evening. We started asking questions of the Park District last week, trying to find out what their policy is when it comes to reporting threats of violence to the police. We we found out that if it doesn't happen on park property, it doesn't get reported to the police, even with this incident when the kids involved are threatening to kill. 12 year old Raleigh in the blue is inside watching TV with his brother. Instead of playing outside at the Seward Park District camp, he's been attending this summer. In real life, I'm going to kill him. So your son's not in this, but these are threats towards your son. Exactly. He's not in this at all. Shalonda McIntosh, Raleigh's mom, is reading threatening messages from a Snapchat group. At least one camper threatening to kill her son in a group filled with a handful of other kids enrolled in the same Park District camp. You know I'm going to have my gun on me. McIntosh says an argument involving her son and another boy started at the camp, later escalating online. The Park District saying in an exchange on social media that included threats against one another, these threats included the use of weapons. This picture of a realistic looking gun was shared in the group and messages like these, just know I'm going to have my gun on me. You see something, say something. That's what we tell the kids. And you feel the Park District didn't do enough. Park District didn't do anything. The messages were turned into a Park hey, District kid. employee no, by no, one no. of the kids in the group. McIntosh and other parents were notified. Don't just sit there, act on it. But police were not contacted by the Park District despite the threat of violence towards McIntosh's son. Instead, McIntosh filed a report with the 18th District herself. That's why she's frustrated. Well, he had to get shot in order for you all to have a protocol. I steal the answers today. What are your protocols? It's the district's policy to contact the police if a threat of gun violence is made at the park or on park property. But the threats were made online, not at the park. So the park district never called CPD. The park district should have stepped up and took the necessary steps to ensure everybody's safety. And in your eyes, they failed. They failed. They didn't do it at all. Now, McIntosh's son and one of the kids in that chat were suspended for four days. The parents involved didn't meet and came to some sort of understanding. But McIntosh still troubled that Park District didn't initiate contact with police even after receiving those violent messages. Live in the newsroom, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Brad. Charlie, thank you.